Sepsis is your body's overactive and extreme response to an infection. Sepsis is a life-threatening medical emergency. Without quick treatment, it can lead to tissue damage, organ failure, and even death. Sepsis happens when an infection you already have triggers a chain reaction throughout your body. Bacterial infections are the most common cause, but other types of infections can also cause it. The infections are often in the lungs, stomach, kidneys, or bladder. It's possible for sepsis to begin with a small cut that gets infected or with an infection that develops after surgery. Sometimes, sepsis can occur in people who didn't even know that they had an infection. Anyone with an infection could get sepsis. But certain people are at higher risk. Adults 65 or older. People with chronic conditions, such as diabetes, lung disease, cancer, and kidney disease. People with weakened immune systems. Pregnant women, and children younger than one. Sepsis can cause one or more of these symptoms. Rapid breathing and heart rate. Shortness of breath. Confusion or disorientation. Extreme pain or discomfort fever, shivering, or feeling very cold, and clammy or sweaty skin. It's important to get medical care right away if you think you might have sepsis or if your infection is not getting better or is getting worse. Your healthcare provider may use many tools to make a diagnosis. A medical history, which includes asking about your symptoms. A physical exam, including checking vital signs, your temperature, blood pressure, heart rate, and breathing. Lab tests that check for signs of infection or organ damage, and or. Imaging tests such as an X-ray or a CT scan to find the location of the infection. Many of the signs and symptoms of sepsis can also be caused by other medical conditions. This may make sepsis hard to diagnose in its early stages. It is very important to get treatment right away. Treatment usually includes Antibiotics Maintaining blood flow to organs This may involve getting oxygen and intravenous for, fluids Treating the source of the infection If needed, medicines to increase blood pressure In serious cases, you might need kidney dialysis or a breathing tube some people need surgery to remove tissue damaged by the infection. To prevent sepsis, you should try to prevent getting an infection. Take good care of any chronic health conditions that you have. Get recommended vaccines. Practice good hygiene, such as handwashing. Keep cuts clean and covered until healed.